There's a question that many people wonder about, especially young Jews growing up and experiencing the experience of Shabbat, which is, why is it that Shabbat is so long? Why is it that when I can take my phone and in one click order a cab or in one click uh, connect to a friend that lives overseas or with one swipe of a car to be able to purchase many items at the grocery store or not go to the grocery store at all and just order it all online, why is it that in such an instant world we need to take 25 hours a week to get one message through? Why can't Shabbat be shorter? We get the message, the message is important to us, but let it be short. Let us sort of have a micro Shabbat, let us have um, a way to convey the message of Shabbat and the beauty of Shabbat in a shorter way. And this is a question you hear a lot from young people, especially people growing up in the age of such fast and instant ability to uh, achieve things. This question is also so much more important here in the United States of America. Researchers describe the situation in which Americans find themselves today as a time famine. It's, we live in an age where people simply do not have time. They are overwhelmed by their chores, by their commitments to their families, jobs, schools, homework, uh, and there's just so much that we have to deal with. So how is it possible for us to take this period of 25 hours a week and just drop everything and dedicate ourselves to this experience of spirituality and um, resting on the day of Shabbat. And there's a beautiful study that I wanted to share with you that really addresses this point in a very meaningful way. There's a study conducted by researchers from Harvard University, Yale University, and the University of Pennsylvania which looked into this phenomenon of time famine and how people experience time in this age of a shortage of time. And what they found is, is fascinating. And that is that if you want more time, what you should do is cut out more time and not use that time. So what that means is people, they found that people who cut out time and use them for things outside of themselves, things greater than themselves, find themselves feeling less overwhelmed and having uh, a greater sense of control over their time. You can find a link to, the, to this article in this description for the video down here. And uh, this article really addresses this crisis that our generation is facing. Uh, and so the researchers, in order to come to their conclusion, took various steps and just an example of one of the steps that they took was as follows. They took participants on a day off that which they had and they gave them a half an hour uh, chore. So what they did is they asked people to uh, find a, a certain word in an assignment or do some paperwork for a half an hour and then they asked another group to sit and take time and write a letter to a sick child. Uh, and so after this study and after this experiment, the people who ended up writing a letter to a sick child ended up feeling a greater sense of control over their time. And this wasn't the only test which they conducted. And the idea was, though, that the more time you spend on others, the more time you spend on things outside of yourself, the more control you have over your own time and the more value you feel there is to your time. So what's the idea of Shabbat? The idea of Shabbat is to cut everything out. The idea of Shabbat is to stop. It's to say, here's a day, I'm not going to be busy with my work. I'm not going to be busy with anything else. I'm going to be focusing on family, spirituality, and thinking about what the important things in life might be. And this pause, this creation of time for ourselves, gives us a greater sense of control of, over our time, a greater sense of productivity for the other six days of the week, and allows for us to do exactly what God did at the beginning of creation, to stop and reflect on what we've created in our weeks, to stop and think about our lives and allow ourselves to feel a sense of control over our lives and destiny. So next Shabbat, when you sit down at the Shabbat table, think to yourself what a beautiful opportunity this is to dedicate to yourself, your family, your community, and to feel like you have a greater sense of control over your time, to feel like 
Just like God, you too are pausing from your creation, from the beautiful things that you're doing with your life, and thinking about them and what your life is about. And this is going to allow you to go into your next week feeling more refreshed, more productive, and more in control of your time. Shabbat Shalom.